Okay. Um, I just teleported back here because I want to do... What weapon I have? Okay, right, of course. I still don't know what this guy thinks he's doing. Like, he's not making any noise. There's never been any results from him doing whatever that is. Um, why am I doing this? I am doing this because I want to look over at another area again. Oh! Shiza. I never actually fought that guy fairly. So I didn't know he was kind of a badass. Um, yeah. I don't know. How am I doing today? Nobody asked. I asked. Uh, I'm pretty high anxiety. Less high anxiety than I was yesterday. Yesterday was a pretty rough day. Um, feeling a little bit better today. I have this massive to-do list and I've basically just been getting one thing done at a time. Like, or sorry, one thing a day done. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the twig. I told myself I wouldn't do that and then I didn't play for a week. Oh. Oh, that sucks. I've only got one left. Oh. That's so sad. I told myself I wasn't going to do that. You know what? Screw this guy. I don't know why he's important. Or him. Oh my god. There. Can you follow me? Not really. Oh, fuck. Hello? No. Okay, what I want is to go this way. I'm kind of dinkling around around here. I've only been getting, like, one thing on my to-do list done each day, which isn't great. I'm just gonna heal. Wrong spell, buddy. There we go. Um, I just feel like maybe there's more that I didn't do around here, but I'm not sure. This is the, like, section of this that I didn't check uh, more recently since coming back from my trip to see my family. <sighs> um, technically, I suppose I got two things on my to-do list done today. I finished my writing for the first time in a long time. Hmm. It's kind of dark in here. Maybe... It's a waste of FP, but whatever. I got my writing done and I got one other thing on my to-do list done, but honestly, the thing I did get done is actually kind of stressed me out that I got it done. I bought a birthday gift for my boyfriend, which is something that I really wanted to do, um, so I did it, but uh, my boyfriend doesn't really like getting presents, I think, so I'm also now worried that it's, like, a mistake. It's, like, a good present. Like, I'm not, you know, if, if the per it would be a good present. If it wasn't for somebody who didn't like getting presents in general. Uh, did I do all of this? I don't remember any of this. Sorry if this is just repeat of old stuff. Okay. I vaguely remember this happening. Really? Well, this stinks. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I don't really know why I'm doing this. Or why I was using that weapon. <laughs> um, but it is a good present. I think I just need to talk about the present thing. With them. See if there's some sort of condition under which a present is okay. Like, it's their birthday. I like giving presents. Like, to me, it's like a thing where it's like, I get that, like, gift giving isn't, like, one of their love languages. But, like, it is one of mine. And I feel like that's valid. You know what, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, to some extent, love languages are about, like, you know, expressing love in the way that your partner will, like, be receptive to. But in another way, it's like, you know, accepting the way that your partner likes to express love, which in this case could be my partner accepting that I like to express love with gifts and, you know, being like, okay, maybe, like, maybe I don't love getting presents, but maybe it's like, you know, something I do for my partner to let them give me a gift. Like, I know that's a selfish way of thinking about it, but, like, I don't know, maybe that's not so bad. Like, definitely that's like, you know, maybe that's too selfish for a birthday. I don't know. But, like, at the same time, it's like, I don't know. It's a good gift. And on top of that, like, frankly, I'll, like, am I in trouble here? I've definitely been here, right? I just don't remember it. Like, I'll take back the present. Yeah, wasn't I just here? I actually think I was just here. In the last episode. Which was like a week ago for me, but still. Um... Like, maybe that's something I need to talk about is like, hey, can I get you a gift and then if you really don't want it, then you can just give it to me because, like, I'll get you a gift that I would take. Did I go this way? Oh, I don't think I did go this way. This doesn't look familiar. Oh, but there's a thing that was an item. So I guess I did go this way. I don't understand this place. At all. Nothing special down there. Whoa! I did not mean to jump that. Isn't this that dead end I found before? It looks like an item, but it's not. Yeah, this is just a dead end. I'm really wasting my time here. Hmm. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, can I get to where I really want to be from here? Well, I could, but I shouldn't. Um, because where I want to be is basically here. Because, um, I think it's time to give another shot at Rikard. Um, since I seem to have cleaned up the castle, I guess? Or the volcano manor? It's not a castle, it's a manor. I feel like I guess I've done everything. I even found the secret hidden walls that weren't secret hidden walls. Um, oh right, Rikard has his own damn... Uh, I don't want to sit through another loading screen. I don't think it's that bad if I go this way. This is dark again. Just because I don't want to, like... I'm just going to do this. Oh, there's a hidden... Wait, was I supposed to get off earlier? No, no, that's just, like, a side way up. Freaking yikes. Oh, that guy just has glowing eyes. Oh, no, 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 they're poison. That's what it is. Forgot about this. This sucks. Am I heavy rolling? Am I okay? 
Okay, I seem to be okay. That went well. Oh, that was close. Alright, well, I don't really love having this glowy thing over my head, actually. But I don't think I have any way of getting rid of it. Okay, what am I doing? Am I doing the same method I had before? Or am I accepting that it's stupid? Stupid. Um, I didn't rest at the bonfire. Maybe I shouldn't be playing this right now. My anxiety is kind of high. I feel like it's making me like mess up. I just keep on remembering more stuff too. More stuff to go on the to-do list. Um. Sorry, hold on. I'm re I'm remembering something else being here, which is that uh, Zarias or Raya disappeared, and I expected her to be here. And don't I have an item related to this? I assume it'd be a key item. This one. Um, I can't remember what was said about this. You know what? I'm just gonna... Sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm spacing. I'm just gonna look up where Zarias is, because I want to kind of clean up the castle. So, sorry if that's disappointing to anybody. I just... I feel like I actually recently been everywhere that I... that she should be. So it doesn't seem like I'm gonna find her. Oh, this is complicated, actually.
Okay, uh, I, I kind of just skimmed that. Sorry for the boring gameplay. I really kind of just skimmed that, but uh, I kind of get the sense that maybe it's this hidden room. Oh, fuck. Uh. Sorry, I thought I could just press against the wall until I walked out. God, I... Why am I sad? Why am I upset about this? Like, who gives a fuck, right? I'm all like, oh, I keep on having these gameplay sessions where I don't do anything and it's just loading screens because I'm having, like, stupid careless deaths and it's like, bitch, none of that would matter if you were playing on your own, which is what you're doing. Like, you don't even really have an audience other than yourself. So, like, fucking get over it, you know? I just... What I don't like is how I can't see anything, though. Like, who who does it serve for this to be so dark in here? I was already on the spell I wanted. And then, I really don't like this spell, either. Can it just make light without making, like, something that perfectly resembles the freaking... Oh, there it was. It perfectly resembles, well, it doesn't perfectly resemble, but it really looks to the distracted eye like, uh, you know, like the fucking, whatchamacallit, the, that thing, the focus, it gets in the way. It's very distracting visually, just in general. Who, where, what, why? I feel like it's, I feel like it's kind of trying to say that she's in this weird little place that I vaguely remember being over here. Not, not that place, hopefully. This place. Is she in here? Why would I ever have gone in here if it is here? Oh, there she fucking is. Why would I ever have gone in here? Oh, it's you. I'm afraid there is something I must tell you. I was an unwanted child. Born not of grace, but of a hideous ritual, something that can never be accepted, not by men, nor serpents. If it was consensual, Even Lady Tanith shouldn't accept me. I think you're overreacting. I know that you have done so much We're in a fantasy world. People can have sex with snakes. I ask one last kindness. Kill me. Oh, fuck. Please. I thought that I feared nothing. But this, free me from this accursed frame. Giving the tonic of forgetfulness doesn't kill her, does it? Um... I don't want to. I don't think it's good to forget. Right? I think you're gonna be okay, girl. I think you just need to think about it. I know that you have done so much for me, but I wish to ask one kill me. I thought that I feared nothing. I don't want to click through this because then I'll accidentally click the dialogue again. I'll click the wrong choice. Don't give it. Yeah, no. I think she's gonna be fine and she's just overreacting. Okay, now... Mm, do I have to think about this Rykard situation? Do I... Should I... I mean... Maybe I was also overreacting? Maybe the snake weapon wasn't so bad. I don't know. It seemed pretty bad, though. Okay, this time we rest. Oh, 
Oh, I really don't know why I'm choosing this. What even kind of weapon? It's a great sword, right? I don't have very good strength. Great Serpent Hunt. Did I ever use that? I must have. I'm not even going to summon. I'm going to just see what happens. If I play the fight kind of the straight way, they clearly want me to. Well, when I play the fight straight, apparently I just freaking die. Like, that's the thing I think that we're not really taking into account here, is that I die if I get hit. I am so weak. And even though I that's still true, when I'm down in the, like, lava, I kind of think I get hit less. Maybe I do both, though. I'm trying to use the weapon and it's not really working. Okay, that didn't feel any better at all. And I leveled it up, like, plus six, right? if the dog would be any good. Probably not. It probably just died of the lava right away, right? the same amount of damage in way less time like it's definitely better that way it just sucks I have to do it twice that's all mostly because I use up my damn like assuming it goes well I pretty much use all of my flasks which I don't need do I can I do this I don't think I can right I think that's the ticket for this fight. Also, if there's anything that boosts my stamina, I should do that. Raises poise might be good. Actually. I don't need that for this fight. Stamina recovery speed greatly raises maximum stamina. Can this... no. Okay, I like my... I like this. My stamina's looking pretty cool.
Okay, that felt okay. Oh god, heal. Ugh, my sound is really bad right now because my headphones are badly connected. Heal, heal. Can't get away from me, motherfucker. Oh! That doesn't seem quite right. Well, I used seven flasks to get halfway through. That's not a great. That's not great. <laughs> oh. I can't tell how much um, my boy is contributing and I think that maybe I do higher bleed with the with the Reduvia Bloodblade than the just straight up Reduvia? Is that true? Trying to heal, mashing it. Uh, well, unfortunately, it seems that the Reduvia Bloodblade doesn't work so great because my s being staggered means that I have to restart the whole thing over and over again every time. Like, the first slash is like slower, and then the secondary ones are faster, but I all of them are first ones. I don't think the poise thing worked at all. Um, do I have anything that? Enhances things around fire. Something like this over fire, you know? That's what I want. Uh, these aren't helpful. Greatly raises maximum HP, could be pretty helpful. Slowly restores the HP, maybe, but not really. Raises maximum FP, that's no use. Maximum HP, stamina, and equip load. Oh, damn. Um, Eight fifteen, eight forty six. Holy shit. Um, one forty six. Greatly boost non physical damage negation. Fire damage negation. I may assume that's what I'm taking. I'm gonna do that since I think. That will be higher overall. I assume Hughes is a better choice here than the Crystallian, just because he's leveled up further. there exactly you know here's the thing that really annoys me is that I can't lock on to his body if I could lock on to the part that I was attacking I could guard against it better but as it is I can't really guard against what I feel is the thing killing me I guess the thing killing me is like lava but let me just check um do I have anybody that would be better here? Plus seven, plus seven. He's plus 10. It would be kind of fun to use her if she was any good. I don't know, man. I feel like I kind of just got to get lucky. He's 
help at all if I get on the other side. Try rolling instead of starting. Oh my god. I just don't like this guy. This is not a fun fight. It doesn't feel very dynamic. Still got a timer going, right? How's that doing? All right, well. Kind of sad I can't just cut this episode because of the riot dialogue. Hitting him in the gore is, like, doing more damage. What the devil? This is a really annoying fight. Like, I realize that part of the problem here is that I have really low health. But still, dude. Like, I just feel like my high-level weapon does so much more damage so much more quickly than the weapon that they gave me. And that can't be a unique experience. And so it really doesn't feel like I'm supposed to actually use that weapon. It really feels like it's objectively smarter to use other weapons. Uh, especially when my health is so low, which is my fault, but still. And then, like, it's just like, if you use anything but the weapon, if you engage it like they want you to engage it, all the way out here, away from the lava, then it's just like... It's like that! To deal with that. See, look at that. Hughes has the right idea. And then look, it backs all the way away. This sucks. I can't reach it. Spray the lava out, so what's the point of even avoiding it? I can't fucking reach it. Oh, and I'm out of... Right, that isn't doing anything anymore. get damaged by that. Shit. Where even is he? Well, this sucks. If I'm doing it like this, I need... Yeah. <laughs> See, like, like you ex... That did not go better. And I was dodging, you know? I just really don't want to do this fight the stupid, boring way. Uh, see if we could just use the fucking... Oh shit. Well, this is a wasted run. I guess I'll just use this to see if the Crystallion can take hits better. May as well just do this in the meantime. Yeah. Ugh. 
So what's happening there is that when he spins, it's not that his body's hitting me, it's that he's like sending out a big old spray of lava. I don't really know what the best way to deal with that is. It seems like I avoided it a lot. There's a, plenty of times where he did that and it was fine for me. God, I wish my headphones weren't broken. I freaking spent too much money already this month. I've got two pairs of headphones and both of them are broken. Oh, yeah, no, it seriously completely cut out one of the ears. So I can't hear from my right ear. Okay, did I get it back? It's almost like also just like laggy. You know what? Let's see how this does. Oh my good lord. Why would I want to be out in this? Why am I using that? Oh, well, those didn't even hit him. I survived? That's insane. Why would I want to be out in this? There's like more attacks to dodge. Why? What? What? I haven't even done any damage. What's this? Jesus Christ. I mean, like, I guess it's cool if you're him. Oh, wrong. Like, clearly this is what they actually want you to do since the fight's pretty fucking lame otherwise. Visually. Nice, I stopped that. Well, oh, that's one benefit. No, oh, you got me. Oh, I survived. I can't even see where I am. Where? What the hell was going on with the camera there? There's like something over there? It's just the wall? It fucking sucks. Aw, oh, Jesus. See, like, that took so long, and yeah, like, he got to do a lot of cool stuff, but I fucking didn't. Doesn't feel cool. Well, clearly I don't need that many flasks. And also I think Hughes is better. I need more healing. <sighs> I just, I feel like I'm... I feel very defeated that I'm using that weapon at all, frankly. But like, it is a little bit less up to chance? A little bit less up to chance? 
like, the fights it, are longer and still have a pretty high chance of failure, which makes me not very confident. What the fuck? Like, there's no fucking way to avoid that shit. Be able to stagger him. What was the point of that? Oh, wrong. Fuck. Damn it. This is a little easier. Uh, I wish I could have blocked that. He's killing my boy. Okay, that went pretty well, I gotta admit. Gotta watch this again. What a blessing that they give you this cutscene every time. what damage type this sword was doing. Kind of looks like wind. I don't even know what kind of type of damage wind is. Is that magic? Can I boost my damage by doing more magic damage? He's gonna have a sword now. Well, I really haven't done this part, so I don't know what to expect. I used your stupid sword, dork. Join myself and King as remedy. Together we will devour the very god. Don't know what to expect here. He seems kind of chill so far. Okay, he's got a spell. I don't like that. Where is that going? What are the spells doing? Not much. Did I stop his attack? I think I did. Okay, he's running away with that one. do that one. Wow, the sky kind of opened up. This is kind of epic, actually. And Hughes is hanging in there.
Demigod Feld. Well, he's super cool, and I guess that was a pretty cool fight with the sword. I guess that was pretty epic visually. It didn't really feel very cool, like, mechanically. But it was something. Um, a serpent never dies, huh? Interesting notion. Is that like a actual, like, real-world medieval concept? Is this great rune like not a key item until it's activated? Where is it until then? Remembrance of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Alternatively, it can be used to be to gain a great bounty of runes. Rykard took the form of a giant serpent that he might devour, grow, and live eternally. I understand. I understand the laws of blasphemy is long and perilous, so one cannot walk it on blood. Is what he says there. Um, I think that and the rune is all I got, though. And I don't know where the rune is right now, for some reason. Um... Okay, let's reallocate my flasks. Um, this room's pretty cool. But is there anything else in here? My instinct says no. Uh, it was kind of trippy that the sky, like, opened up to fire. Even though we are clearly under a vaulted stone ceiling. Um, the Sight of Grace has no... Are all the people he's burned or like other snakes the side of grace has no like thing guiding me to somewhere else which i really think it probably would if this were actually a location with something to do in it very uh shin godzilla over here that has to be that has to be like a direct inspiration honestly doesn't it That's just the exit line? Or it's my runes? Oh, it's my runes. Oh, how much do I get? 100 and oh, I forgot about that part. Thirty thousand. Okay, I need a lot more. Fifty thousand more, or something. Less than that. I don't know where are these. It's something like this, right? Oh, I went a little overboard. It's okay. It's fine. Kind of went a lot overboard. Um, hold on. I'm just going to give myself, like, 
four more minutes because I think when I was looking up Raya's quest line stuff, it implied that she would have more to say. Where the hell is the exit? Is that it? And I want to see if she's even like here. I really expect her to be something to do with all of this shenanigans, but I guess she's not. I guess she's going to be back in her. Yeah, she's still there. Okay, interesting. Um, is this the best way to get there? Not really, is it? No, I guess it is. texted uh sorry why am i saying my roommate this is on the channel that we share uh jaleesa texted that she's not coming home tonight she's staying the night at her friend's place um and i feel a little lonely because usually tomorrow is my hangout day with my boyfriend but they are also not available because they're hanging out with other people and I miss everybody fucking shit uh, whatever you're not willing to kill me are you nope <laughs> evil has been so kind and uncompromising don't talk like you've known me for a long time I suppose I knew in my heart of hearts how kind and uncompromising you always were. Is that it? I suppose how kind and uncompromising you always were. I don't want her to forget. Um, I'm just going to reload the area real quick. Um, I think I'm safe. I don't think my recording is going to get cut off. Should have sent this elevator back down though. One, two, three, four. Can I have a little more? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I love you. Loneliness is just such a new feeling to me, you know? I really hadn't experienced it before this year. Can't stand that guy. Rise's letter and data cars woe. Are those both key items? No, neither of them are key items. Data cars woe is gonna be. Well, her letter is gonna be in here. Farewell letter written in an inexpert hand. I wish to set out on a journey so that one day I can carry on mother's work. Be the proud daughter of Tanith of Volcano Manor. Farewell. You've always been so kind, so uncompromising, my champion. Okay, well, maybe we'll meet again. Um, cool. Uh, Data Cards Web is going to be one of these, right? No. Yes. Disturbing likeness of a woman whose skin was flayed. Well, fuck. Who the hell is Data Car? She smiles with a serene tenderness. Increases damage taken. It is said that this woman named Data Car indulged in every form of adultery and wicked pleasure imaginable, giving birth to a myriad of grotesque children. Damn, so she's like a Cenobite type, like like Hellbound Heart type weirdo who got her skin flayed open and had sex with snakes, and I guess that's going to be her mother. Wow, crazy. Okay, well, uh, on that note, I will see you next time, I guess. Whew.